there, folks. I just wanted to tell you a little bit about cafe, a cafe, or uh, how you know Brazilians would say it, cafe, something like that. I, I don't know. Um, really pretty, pretty slick game, pretty straightforward, but uh, really nice, really nice. This is a game uh, that doesn't change all that much if you're playing solo or up to four players, I believe. Um, I don't know if it's even telling me, you know, how many? Oh, one to four players. Uh, incredible solo mode. Really, really great. Does not change all that much if you're playing solo or uh, with other people. The main thing that's going to change is how many cards you have out to choose from because that's just how you do it. Uh, so what you're going to have is a bunch of cubes and then a bunch of cards. These cubes are going to represent the different types of coffees. There's four different ones and then these cards are going to represent the actions you can do and the resources. And there is one card that's an action tracker telling you how many uh, actions you can do on your turn. So you're going to have these different cards. Let me just show you just a little bit here. We'll just show you one of these cards and you can imagine uh, there's a thick stack of cards. These are like just the starter cards, I believe. Uh, but you can see this card right here. It's got a coffee cup. It's got a yellow bean, a red bean, and a green bean. Not a green bean, but a green coffee bean. And so if you have a coffee cup, you get one more action, but you have to take out one of your little cubes from your warehouse. You start with one of each. Uh, but really nice game. You're going to uh, draw, I believe, three uh, of the next cards, and you choose one of them to put on your area, basically. You're creating a little city of all your different cards, and you have to place your new card over two of the squares of everything you've already got. So really, really cool um, thinking in this game where you're placing a card down and you're covering up. You always pretty much are covering up something where you want that thing. You don't want to cover it up, but you're trying to choose the thing that is best to cover up because you have to cover up something. So uh, really love that aspect of it where I'm, okay, I'll cover up this because I don't think I need this this turn and it's better than covering up anything else. It, it always hurts a little bit, but it's uh, uh, done really, really well. I love that aspect of it. You can cover up more if you would like to set yourself up for something in the future, um, but really nice. And you can also, uh, another decision factor, is if you connect different colors. Let's say I had, uh, you know, two yellow beans when I lay this other card on, two yellow beans next to each other. If I choose the action to uh, gather those beans, then I would get to, in one action, put one cube, yellow cube, on each of those. So if I have six of them combined, I'd get to do all six of those with one action. Each coffee cup gives you an additional action and then so on and so forth. So you're collecting these beans, uh, you're drying them, you're roasting them. Everything makes it super, super simple. Uh, as you look at everything here, you've got an A uh, down in the corner just to show you the process of how they go through. I believe it's um, there's an A, B, C, D, and so it's going to be A is uh, the beans right here. B is going to be drying them, so you're going to need fields to dry them. Uh, a, B, C is going to be, um, is it roasting them already? Maybe it is roasting them already. It is, and then D is delivering them. So you're going to have different uh, coffee shops that are going to request uh, maybe two yellow and a green. And if you're able to deliver those, then you're going to get that amount of points. So incredible. Uh, incredible game in a lot of different ways. I think it works just really, really well. I think the theme of coffee is just super duper fun. Really do enjoy that. All of the contents are done really, really well. And like I said, it works phenomenally. This is a great, great, great solo game, especially with how small it is. You can run and gun with that pretty easy, uh, but it works out awesome for one all the way up to four. It, it's not a game that's like, oh, it's only a solo game, or oh, you can't play it solo. It really works well all the way around. So that is Cafe right there, a game that I have really, really enjoyed and I'm excited to play some more of. So hopefully that gives you just a nice little touch and a taste of this game, what it is, what it does, and why it may or may not be right for you. Thanks.